out of this race. So here's the full start list. Holly Campbell, Whitney Sharp, Zoe Buckman, Lyndon Hall, Karina van der Kluster, Chichiro Sonaga, Heidi C, Kayla DeBont. We won't be seeing Jenny Blundell. There's Madeline Murray. And on the other side, Morty Scoring and Elise Gallen. So there'll be 11 in this field. Now, Matt, you train a little bit with some of these athletes. Who do you fancy to take it out? Um, I think Heidi C, she's been in great form, won National 5K champ, so I think she is um, our girl to win this. It looks like Tamsin might be down there, the winner of the last 1,500 metres. I'm here with Imogen, who just won the 1,500 metres. Now, we've got to be really quick because the Open Women's 1,500 is coming up, and Imogen just tells me she knows a few of the girls, so we're going to be watching it together. Um, that was a great race. Thank you. Were you always going to kick so strongly from 300 to go? Did you? Was that your plan? Because you're obviously so strong at the 3,000 metres, you wanted to make sure there was no kick from those sprinters behind you? Um, yeah, that was my plan here from the start. And we happy with the time? Um, no, well, it was good considering the race, but it's not my PB. That's okay. A win's a win. Now, for this Open 1500, who do you think's going to win it? Uh, I don't know. Um, You're going to go for the one that you know, Heidi? <laughs> um, well, I know them all, but um, I don't... I don't know who I'm going to go for. You know what? I like that you're sitting on the fence because it's a really tough race to pick. So let's sit here and watch it, and this will be you in the future, Imogen. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, it, it is. A, I'll, I'll be honest. It is a tough race to call. Yeah, it is, definitely is. Now, I'm going to ask you, Maddie. Dark horse. Give us a bit of a dark horse in this one. Who, who could probably sneak up on some of the favourites here? I think Heidi is the dark horse. But because of the form she's been in, just from her Sora training at Falls Creek and her um, recent results, I think she's really going to push it to Lyndon Hall, who's our race favourite, or maybe Zoe Buckman. Um, I think she's in great form, so I'll be rooting for her. Yeah, well, she obviously is not as quick as, say, Lyndon Hall or Zoe Buckman over just based on PBs, but two-time national champion. She hasn't been beaten in the last two years over this championship, and when it comes to that kind of racing, she just must have that kind of turn of speed to, to catch these other girls unaware. And that's the thing. As you see now, the, the pace isn't hot. Obviously, the, the field's bunched up. They're, they're three wide at the front. So this is probably actually playing into Heidi C's uh, favouritism here. I reckon she's going to be a good one. If the pace stays like that, as we've seen, she's a great championship runner. She has a great kick. So she's... Definitely one to watch, as, as you said, Maddie. Yeah, and also reigning national 5K champion. She won the 5K down she did. at the Summer of Ask Grand Prix. They're going through only 55, 56 seconds for that first 300. So not lightning fast. That's Holly Campbell out in front at the moment. And there's Zoe Buckman. Hall at the back. Yeah, she is a... hanging out at the back. So that's a, that it shows you how slow the pace is. Linden's just quite comfortable sitting there at the back. Now, Maddie. Lyndon, Zoe, those girls that may not have the kick of Heidi, what are they going to have to do here to change this race in order to suit themselves? From at least 600 out, one of them is going to have to make a, a hard move to take, burn the legs of Heidi. So um, I'm not sure if Lyndon's just waiting, biding her time to do that or what, but um, that's what I would do if I was in this race. Yeah, so not only... Obviously, they probably won't get that uh, 40750 in this race. It's just probably too slow now unless they just kick from here. But taking that national title, that just gives you a little bit of a sigh of relief where you don't have to go for that qualifier straight away. You get that front spot no matter what. Yeah, so I was in a similar boat um, last year when I was juniors, but I had the 5K on the first night and then um, won that and moved on to my 1500. And there was no pressure on me whatsoever. And I just controlled that race. And right now, I would say Heidi's controlling that race. Yeah, she's definitely in that right position. She's got a bit of an escape plan out of there. As we say, that looks like Lyndon Hall now moving up on the outside and probably going to go through in about 2 minutes 30 for this 800, maybe even a little bit slower. So not huge. Someone's going to have to make a move. And it'll be interesting to see, we'll say, out of the big three of Buckman, C and Hall, who makes the first move. Yeah, and as May said, if Lyndon and um, Zoe are going to do this, they're going to have to go from 600 out. So it, it's just great to have such a quality field here in this women's 1500. It's an event that's been going from strength to strength. Obviously, from the days where we had Sarah Jamison, um, Australian record holder, 
it's sort of dropped off a little bit, but now it's having this resurgent coming through with all these athletes out there. And it's a situation where you can have more than three qualifying for world champs in this event. So this, this race right now is vital for selection for the 1500 metres. And here we go, 500 metres to go, and they're all turned on at the same time. Probably not enough room for all three of them there. But Lyndon Hall almost out there in lane three, and she's having a go with 450 metres to go. Buckman on her inside and Heidi C. And it's going to be a sprint from a long way out. Heidi C moving into second place, but Lyndon Hall's got the lead as they come around with 350 metres to go. Heidi's in a good spot there. She's done this before. She's been close. Normally it was Melissa Duncan out in front, but she's a bit injured at the moment. We've got Lyndon Hall really striding away, and these three now pulling away. It looks like the medals might have been sorted already. Yeah, but you can't count out Zoe Buckman. Obviously we've seen her on the, on the world's biggest stage do some amazing things and make finals here. So she's sitting there back in third, but you just wait for her to pounce. I reckon she's in with a good shot here. But as May said, Heidi C is in a great position here. She's gone around the bend, just sitting on Linda's shoulder. It's going to be interesting to see how Linda responds to that. Yeah, here we go. Hall entering the home straight with a lead. Buckman moves wide as well. Let's see Hall and Buckman. Buckman trying to come around the outside. It's Lyndon Hall on the inside. Heidi C's found herself in the lead. She's striding away. Buckman trying to chase it down, but Heidi C, she's done it again. Three in a row for Heidi C. 4.24.01. She is your national 1500 metre champion. And Matt, you said the race was going to play into her hands like that, and it did. Yeah, well, when you have no pressure on you at all, you can run the race however you want, and that's exactly what she did, and it was perfect. So she's got pole position now for the 5k and the 1500 meters and just too strong these last few strides here let everyone else do the work and come over the top at the end so so with this Matty, have Lyndon and zoe really run to heidi's race plan have they shift i don't know what their race plan was going into it but from viewing this it seems like they've been shifted into heidi's race plan and she's come out the victor in this that's what it looks like to me um i wouldn't know what their individual race plans were but that suited Heidi perfectly, that race. Um, so, yeah, I guess they fell straight into Heidi's trap. And a word for her, three, Pete, for Heidi C. And Tans is down there with the top three. I am, and I thought I'd grab all three because these ladies are such class acts. It was it was a hard race to watch because, you know what, someone's got to win and someone's got to lose. Um, Heidi, three in a row, you just know how to win your national championship. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one my first national championship was special and last year olympic year was special but this one was definitely the most fun and yeah i've just been so relaxed and really happy about this one and the goal for you has to be to stay injury free and go get that time and make the world champs team it'll be your second world champ uh yeah that, that'll be the goal this year um so the most important thing for me is just try and enjoy myself and look after myself and then yeah i think that breaks through the race will come one thing's for sure you definitely deserve to make that team after the tough year last year great race zoe you hugged that rail like you always do and you came out and you were you had the speed and you, were, you were finishing strongly how do you it's all about position and i have a good tactical runner she moved with the pace and it went and i tried to go i was just a little bit boxed in there, and in, when it's a slow race, it comes down to those minute details, and that's what makes the difference. Well, you've taken on a big program. You were the only one who took the 800 on as well. Um, so, are the legs tired, or are you right to come out? And... Soon to be being slow, because I've got tomorrow to bounce back for, have another crack. Well, you're a big chance for the 800, too. Do you think that maybe you can take that one out? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, well done, Zoe. Great effort. Now, Lyndon... Um, it's heartbreaking speaking to you right now because obviously you are a fantastic athlete. You're a 4 0 runner. You're pushing for that Australian record. The race perhaps just didn't suit you. It was a bit too slow. You, you, we know that you're a 4 0 run, one runner. You love it fast from the gun. And you were really brave. 500 out, you took that lead. You did what you had to do. Um, I'm hoping you're not too disappointed, but I'm guessing you are. Yeah, hard not to be disappointed. Sort of felt like I went in with a little bit of a target on my back this year. It was really different to last year. Um, but, you know, I tried something a bit different by, you know, not going to the front because I kind of thought that's what everyone would expect. So, you know, I didn't quite pull it off. But, you know, it's great to practice racing like this. We don't get many shots to do it in Australia. So, you know, definitely was a little bit hungry. I know you will be disappointed, but let's remember that you are a 4 run one runner. You are great in those European races on the Diamond League circuit. You nearly made the Rio Olympic Games final. You've got a lot more this year and there's bigger fish to fry. You'll go over there and you'll run fantastically, I'm sure.